Let's take a look at what Donald Trump had to say an hour ago. I find it very hard to believe that a racist Soros-backed DA who lets murderers, rapists, and drug dealers walk free and who has presided over the biggest violent crime wave in history in New York City is using the power of his office to persecute, indict, and prosecute a former president of the United States of America for no crime. The witch hunt never ends, but we will make America great again also reported tomorrow a most important witness who michael cohen will be testifying tomorrow in front of the grand jury and supposedly the information that he will present is going to be conclusive and irrefutable of this witch hunt i don't care if you are for trump or against trump this is not right weaponized our fbi now they're weaponizing our policing or DOJ. Heck, hate to say it, even Mike Pence, he says that arresting Trump would be a politically charged prosecution. McCarthy's standing up. He orders a probe and district attorney investigating Trump. Trump allies are pressuring DeSantis to weigh in on expected indictment. Yeah, I would like to know that too. There is an unusual embrace of Trump's following criminal referral. Complete crick is what I hear from the GOP. Why is that? You need to pay attention to the ones who are speaking up regardless if they are for or against Trump. Maybe we need to take note of that. Heck, even U.S. presidential hopeful Vivek Ramaswamy calls for the GOP support against Trump's likely indictment. This is not right here, guys, and you know it. I'm gonna leave you with this video. But I find it pretty distracting to just focus on what I was planning to talk about without actually talking head on about the serious news we heard this morning. The risk that Donald Trump might be indicted while running for president of the United States for alleged violations that if it were any other situation would undoubtedly just be charged as a misdemeanor, if at all. This isn't to me about a person. I could care less about defending Donald Trump or any other individual out of some sort of personal affinity. Forget about that. This is about principle. It's about the country. It's about the idea that if you live in a self-governing democratic nation, a constitutional republic, it means that the people get to decide who actually wins the election. Not some managerial class and certainly not a party in power that now uses Quite literally, it would appear police power to stop their political opponents from running. That is wrong. That is not. Even he sees the problem. And I just got this feeling that a lot of you GOPs, you see it and you know it too. But what are you afraid of? Trump just has the balls to stand up to this government. He has the balls to give a shit and give a damn. Where's your balls? Country crazy out.